on this episode of Inside the Church. We're going to take you inside the church. We actually made it inside the church now. We did. Uh, and we're going to go actually up into the dome. Oh, uh, man. And if we can make it past the trolls, we'll go on top of the dome outside do we of have, the church. Do we have permission to do this? I don't know. Did you ask Father? I, I, thought, I thought you... Whatever. Let's right. go. Let's see if we can get all the way up here. This is intense. How many stairs? We should count them. I already lost count. <laughs> Six. <laughs> I'm a theologian, that, not a math. That's ten. I bet they're all ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. The ladders as we go are basically straight up. Wow. You watching from home? I'm glad you're not here. We'd have to have a liability form. So right now we are uh, just over the sanctuary, and Andrew, if you turn a little bit, there's a secret hole there. And that path, we might get you uh, down there one day. Okay. And that takes us back to the uh, choir loft. So this is this is all above, right where Father has mass. I should have worked out before this video. I'm already out of breath. Watch your head as you come up. Pretty narrow passage. So what's behind that door? This is the door that'll bring us inside the church. is actually the dome of our beautiful cathedral in St. Paul. And then obviously up in the top, we have the Holy Spirit. And we have the triangle to represent the Trinity, the Holy Spirit descending upon this church. should sell tickets. that girds their feet, one allows for movement, the third covers their eyes, because no creature is able to look upon God as he is, except for the baptized. That is a special grace we are given that makes us supernatural. We can. All right, we better do another video.